So how do you find WooCommerce hooks? Well, one way is to download the WooCommerce plugin on your computer and you just go to the templates folder, which is usually uh, the one where you'll find the card, the checkout, and the my account, uh, the order and the single product uh, templates. And you can just open uh, one of them files, for example, the uh, meta in the single product page and see if you can find hooks. For example, we just found an action hook that allows us to uh, put some content before the product meta starts on the single product page. And so you can keep going and identify uh, all the do action in this case. And the same applies for the um, apply filters. Once again, let's look for one of them. For example, I'm going to take a look at the add to car folder simple product and going to the through the files you'll find once again actions so you can uh, trigger your functions your custom functions in there and you also find filters so as you can see in this case we've talked about filters they allow you to edit uh, the uh, content before it's given back to WooCommerce. In this case, it allows you to uh, edit the minimum value of the quantity input of the add to cart button. And it gives you uh, a few arguments you can also access. So um, you can do, if you want, a manual way, or you can use the visual hook guides which is something that um, I'm really happy uh, I published uh, a few years ago and they're still very helpful. So you can either go onto Google and look for visual hook guide for the single product in WooCommerce and you'll find uh, my uh, hook guides. There are a lot of um, people that, mm, you know, mm, copied uh, the visual hook guides, that's fine. As long as you, uh, at the end, arrive onto the visual hook um, guide series, right? In here, you find hooks for each WooCommerce sections and also for uh, some popular themes. So you'll find, for example, the storefront theme visual hook guide but most importantly, you find the My Account pages, the Checkout page, the Shop page, the Single Product page, and the Cart page, and so on. How do you find them? Once again, Google, or just go to the home page, go to Resources, and you'll find, you find them right there. Now, why are these visual hook guides um, helpful? Well, let's open the uh, shop page, for example, and you'll basically see a, an identical version of the shop in WooCommerce, with the difference being that you also see the name of the action hooks that uh, you can use in your customization. So before the shop title, you know that there is the WooCommerce before main content hook, uh, before the uh, shop loop item uh, image, you know that there is a hook called before shop loop item title. And after the uh, price, you know that you have the after shop loop item. And you can also see uh, what are the WooCommerce default actions that WooCommerce adds, as you can see, uh, there is a priority. So if you use 15, you know that it'll load after these two default action and so on. So we will see these a lot um, during this uh, module. What's important also is you'll see a nice list of uh, the whole uh, default actions. So it's easy to remove them. 
uh, we will see this as well in module four. So um, basically, uh, you could do a manual search, you could do a code editor um, search for do action or apply filters, or you could use the visual hook guides. It's all equivalent to me as long as you're able to identify hooks, and as long as you remember that using hooks allows us not to override uh, WooCommerce core files, but instead we can place our customization into the functions.php file of our child theme.